I'm going to replace this switch. Uh, isolation procedure is fully in place. The board's being changed. I will prove it's dead before I do change it, but obviously it's hanging off of the wall. Um, let's have a look what we've got here. So we've got old cable colours. These are pre-2004. We're used to in the workshop seeing brown, black, grey. And in the old system, it was red, yellow, and blue. So to identify something as a switching line conductor, you can see small red sleeving on these. We've had discussions on the channel before about what colour to use as common. They've used yellow here. It'd be interesting to see other switches, whether they've continued that practice on or they've swapped it around as we go about. So this is going to get replaced. Let's have a look at the CPC. CPC secured in the back of the box. This could be changed in the future for a metallic one, so obviously we'll need to earth the exposed conductive part that a metal light switch would be. We've discussed that on the channel loads of time. I probably would have took it off um, the outer grey mechanical protection a little bit further back, but there is a grommet up here. So we have got a grommet, so that's good. So I'm going to change this. I'll have a look at the ends and see if they need to be remade, but it's not that long, so we'll see how damaged they are from being screwed in, whether they can deal with being screwed into again with a new accessory. So two-way switches off, and now I'm looking at the actual conductors. I'm looking for length first, they're not the longest, okay, but I'm looking at the copper to see how dented it is and what position. Now, if it was really low down and pretty well dented, I'd probably look to maybe replace it. I've got to work out whether the screw termination in there, if I screw into the same area again, could potentially break. 99% of the time I prefer to strip them back and re-terminate them. It just comes down to the length themselves. So I have to look at that area, make a judgment call whether I believe it can be screwed into again. I usually say no, I usually just strip back and re-terminate. Also, look at that one there. It's covered in nice bits of blobs of paint. That's not a very good electrical connection, so that will need to be cleaned up even if you were going to use that termination again. But I'm going to lightly just going to re-terminate all of those and then just put my new switch on. I will also confirm the CPC in the back box so if we just look there, I'll just confirm that that CPC is also actually screwed into the copper, okay, that we've got a good electrical connection up there. So I'm just gonna replace this for a new two-way switch now. So I'm just gonna straighten them out. It might give me a little bit more copper to play with. It's that bent area that I'm more concerned about. So if I just strip it back, I'm gonna try these out as well. My wire strippers. Okay, look how easy that was, folks. All those people, Gaz is using a knife, Gaz is using a knife. And then obviously I'm just going to double those back over for all my terminations. So what I've got now is a nice fresh uh, non-squeezed in connection in order that my screw can penetrate into nice fresh copper. And it's still of a reasonable length in order to do that. So I'll just do the rest and I'll connect it up. Okay, uh, just carry on as I go. Apply those, shows you how long it is. These are stiff as anything. I need to oil those up. Don't use them hardly anymore. So it took me stripping tool do like that makes life a lot easier in order that we can just double them over and we go again like that. fold those out I don't want to keep picking up the red sleeve in hopefully it won't come off the end that one can be just straightened out a little bit just trim it back and we go again now you've got to remember what colour we had is common Otherwise, we're going to have a problem at the other end. This one used yellow. Yellow is common. So through we go. So I made the connections there, ready to go. Like I said, I'm going to need to check that CPC is actually connected properly. So I'm just going to, yeah, confirm it was in the copper itself and not in the actual sleeve in itself. So that's nice and firmly in there. A lot tighter now. Might want to clean these out as well. I'll have to have a look. I've got a a 3.5 rethreading tool. Might have to clean these out, but they look pretty good on this one. Some of the other ones might need doing it. So I can just now fit my new two-way switch using yellow as common. Remember, it doesn't matter which one you use, is um, L1 and L2. So I wasn't worried about that. It was just what color was common. And in this case, yellow. I don't want to drop them out. So just be careful. The same as at college, and we undo the screws too far sometimes. We drop them on the floor and then we're searching for them. Okay, at college, you might be able to go and get another one out of the stores, but in here, if it falls through the cracks in the floorboard, I've uh, lost a switch. Okay, so I've opened those up. Does it matter which way around it goes? No, because it's a two-way switch. So it doesn't matter which way around I go. So in other words, when I screw it back, I haven't got to make sure that I, what I'm thinking is down is on because obviously it's two-wayed. You can see how we're a little bit on the limit for length. I would have liked them a fraction longer. Yep, nice and tight. Again, someone will say, why is there not torque settings for these type of screws? That's a good point. Why are there not uh, Wago or Idol industry style connections in the back as well? So I've got it on, made my connections, common L1, L2, 
I've still got my identifying sleeve, and in this case being red. I'll push it back into position, pull it forward, and then I just recheck them because obviously they've moved around slightly. Just want to make sure, especially in sockets, I always find in sockets you normally get another little half a turn. On the screw head on this one, yep. Confirm the CPC, we've got a grommet in. Okay, cable length still okay. So they can be pushed back into position. Need to make sure that the conductors themselves don't come underneath the areas which the screws are gonna go into, the two tabs, because obviously you could screw straight back into the cables themselves, directly a fault to earth them. You would pick it up on testing, but obviously you don't wanna damage the cable. So when you're pushing it back in, have a little look to see where they're going.